morning guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are in dublin i'm very excited it is like just a wee trip done for the weekend um literally just staying one night and yeah it's about midday now it's about 12 it's about 12 oh. yeah um, and we're about to get some brunch because you, you know I love brunch. So we're heading to this place called Pog because like I put it up on Instagram being like can someone recommend me places to go for brunch in Dublin and so many people said Pog like see the first five they all said Pog so I was like okay <laughs> I think we'll go there. So that's where we're heading and it's actually not that far from here so yes and I'm very hungry so gonna get some brunch and then gonna do a little bit of shopping today I think which should be fun and then head out for dinner tonight which we've got booked so yeah it's very cold this morning um but hopefully brunch will warm us up and get us through a good day of shopping so yeah I think it goes along as per usual um while we explore Dublin today So we're just out of brunch. How was your brunch? Well it was very nice. I thought yours was very nice. I kind of am jealous that I got mine, you got yours, because Adam got these like spicy and do just scrambled eggs and they were really good. Like they were the sort of thing I would flipping love and they had like fed cheese and all. So I'm kind of jealous that I didn't get that, but my pancakes were nice. Um, it was quite cool. You could like, they gave you like a wee slip um, and it was like, you know if you go to a hotel and you, you get like room service and you take on the like menu what you want it was like that but it was like customize your own pancakes so it was quite cool so you have to like decide your toppings um which is very nice and yeah and the matcha was 10 out of 10 i love the matcha so yeah now we're kind of just heading into the center i think this is trinity we're coming past um so yeah, we're pretty much just heading towards Grafton Street to do a little bit of shopping because my dad gave me some birthday money that I wanted to get myself a few things with. So yeah, I'll take you guys along, as I said before, and show you what we get up to. Just found this hat in Topshop and I just think it matches my jumper like perfectly. Okay, so if you watched my come shopping with me about a month or so ago, um, you have seen that I really liked this cream aviator in Topshop. But at 64 point I was like, mm, can I just try that, right? It's been reduced to 48 pound and I'm kind of like, I've got my birthday money and I'm very tempted. Do you know what? I'm not even very tempted. I think I'm going to buy it. Like nearly 100%. And they have it in my size. There's two left and they have an eight. Like how unusual is that? I feel like that's fate. I feel like that's the universe telling me like, now is your time to buy this jacket. Just buy the jacket. See, even Adam says just buy the jacket. <laughs> okay, so I'm currently in the Topshop changing rooms. If you haven't been to the Topshop in Dublin, it's probably my favourite Topshop ever. Actually, no, that's a lie. I love the Topshop in London. Maybe after that. Um, but yes, so I'm just going to show you guys my outfit um, because I haven't showed you yet. So basically everything I'm wearing is from Primark. Um, yeah, my jumper, my jeans, my shoes are all from Primark. Um, my bobble is from Primark. Um, apart from my jacket, my jacket's from Miss Selfridge. So that is my outfit of the day. I'm really happy with it. And then I have this bag that I got for my birthday from River Island, but I bought it with like an ASOS switch that I was given for my birthday. So yeah, that's that. Um, and yeah, I just want to give you a bit of, bit of a story time about this coat. So as you saw, I was just talking about this coat and it's one that I literally wanted weeks and weeks and weeks ago and I was like hmm for some reason I just wasn't ready to buy it for 65 point so I was like no I'll just not get it today so then I went to like buy it online 
and use Claw on it and like pay a month later. But for some reason, like my payment wouldn't go through. And I was like, this is so weird. So then I just kind of gave up on that and was like, right, it's not meant to be. So yeah, I just kind of like forgot about it. It was like, I'm not gonna get the jacket, it's fine. Um, and then today, Black Friday weekend, there's 25% off and the jacket, they have two jackets left in the Dublin store when I've got my birthday money and it's down to 48 from 65. And I'm like, I feel like that was like the universe just saying, you, you, you need to wait for the right time to buy this jacket. And I'm so happy I waited. So yeah, I'm gonna grab that. And I tried this top on as well, but I didn't really like it on me that much. But yeah. Also picked a couple of things up in Brown Thomas, which I will show you when we get back to the room. Okay, so we've come to St. Stephen's Green, which is literally just like at the end of Grafton Street and it's so calming like see so yeah, after coming down Grafton Street where like it's so busy like everyone's shopping for Black Friday and It's just nuts like see so coming in here and it's just like silent It's very nice Are you feeling sleepy? Mm -hmm. Yeah so we've just come into Starbucks because I really need to charge my phone. My makeup's literally all come off. Um, but yeah, as I said, I really need to, really needed to charge my phone. Also got myself a gingerbread latte. I didn't really think I would like sit in cups here, which is so weird. It's like she didn't even ask me. Um, so yeah, we're basically just sitting here until I finish this, until my phone gets a bit of charge back in it. And then I'm gonna head to a few more shops. Because we need about three. What time is it? Half two, three? It feels like really late in the day though. I don't know why. So we weren't up that early. <coughs> what? Half six is not that early. It's not. I get up I get up at four for work. Yeah, that's painfully early. Um I was up I only got up at half seven. Why were you up so early? You were worried you'd sleep in? I would have cried. So to just click with me, this video will be the first day of Vlogmas. Like how have I not realised that so far? I feel like I need to make more of an effort to make it a bit more Christmassy. But I suppose I've got my Starbucks Christmas cup and I've shown you Gra Grafton Street all Christmassy. Um, so yeah, we'll try and make it a bit more Christmassy as the vlog goes on. It'll Today's actually the 30th of November, but I just thought I would put the 30th and the 1st together in one because we're in Dublin these next two days. So then this will be uploaded on the 2nd and then vlogmas will start from there. So yeah, happy vlogmas guys. I'm very excited to do vlogmas for the first time ever. And I hope you guys enjoy, if you do, please let me know and I'll try and keep it up over the next few years. Like, that's so exciting that I might be still, like, be doing YouTube like this time. Well, I probably will still be doing YouTube like this time next year. That's very exciting. Like, how much life can change in a year is crazy. I wonder how many subscribers I had last Christmas. I've gained quite a lot this year. Like, I'd say 2019 was one of the best years for YouTube for me. Do you know what? I was saying to my dad, like, 2019 was probably one of the best years of my life. Like, in all seriousness. Like, I graduated, I got my Duke of Ed. Like, I just feel like it's been like a really, like, big year for me. So yeah. Cheers to 2019, cheers to Vlogmas, and cheers to Gingerbread Latte. Okay, so this is 
given me real like Harrods sort of Selfridges vibes at Christmas like that we went to London last year so that's literally just what it's reminding me of so much I love these look how cool these are the neon signs and then this is basically like the wee Christmas area but it's all very Christmassy but this is kind of like their Christmas gift area and all and it's very very funky Okay guys, so we've just got back to our hotel room. It's about 10 to 6 in the evening and we're, we're, we've, <laughs> I'm kind of tired so my words aren't really coming out. Um, we've got dinner booked for 8 o'clock so we're going to have to get back into Dublin city centre for that but we wanted to come back and like get ready and get changed and everything. I really need to have a shower because my hair is kind of greasy and stuff but um, I thought before I do that I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up in Dublin today. So the reason we're down here is because it was my birthday two days ago and um, we just kind of wanted to come down and spend my birthday weekend away because it would be quite nice and then I've always wanted to see Dublin at Christmas time. So um, yeah, we came down here and the premiere was pretty cheap because um, it's, it's far out of the center but there's like a bus directly in. But anyway, um, that's basically me just explaining why we came down to Dublin and my dad gave me some birthday money to spend when I came here and yeah I just picked up a few things with that and I actually like haven't spent I've only spent about half of the money my dad gave me and um, because I don't know when people give me birthday money I like to buy things that are like really special like I didn't want to just buy like random sort of clothes and stuff with it because I don't know I like to buy like things that are a bit more like special and things that I've been sort of wanting for a while and haven't sort of bought for myself if that makes sense so I suppose I'm just going to show you guys those no I um, so first up the first place we went was Brown Thomas um, and in Brown Thomas I went to Charlotte Tilbury and I wanted to get the Charlotte Tilbury what's the the, their new foundation, I can't remember what it's called, but um, they actually didn't have my shade in the store at the minute, so I, I just sort of said I can get it when I get up home. Um, but I did pick up a couple of Charlotte Tilbury products. I think these are actually my first ever Charlotte Tilbury products. I don't think I've bought anything from them before, so that's quite cool. So first up, I picked up the beloved um, <laughs> Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury Matte Lipstick. Um, I'm just going to open it up and show you guys what it looks like. I'm sure you already know because I feel like Pillow Talk is the one that literally everyone loves. Yes, there we go. So I picked that up and I also... <laughs> you alright? I also got... Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip plumping gloss thing um, in Refresh Rose. So I just thought they looked really nice so I decided to get that as well. Um, but that's everything I got on Brown Thomas. There were a few other things that I might have got but I, as I said, I've sent about, so about half the money that my dad gave me for my birthday. So I'm going to probably save that for when I get home or when we go to Edinburgh because there might be a few things that I want to pick up over there. Um, so yes, I also got the jacket that I showed you in Topshop but you've already seen it so I'm not going to bother lifting it out because it's kind of like big and bulky and I don't want to have to like wrap it all up to put it back in the bag. And then finally the last thing I got was the So 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 Kiss Me in Barrett. So I already have the So So, the same thing in What's the shade? It's I like it and I, I love that shade so much and I really really like the Barrett when I saw it so I've wanted that for a while so I just decided to pick that up when I saw it and yeah that's everything and now I'm going to hop in the shower and get all cleaned up and get ready for dinner and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm ready. You, you ready for dinner? Or are you excited for dinner? Um no I'm excited for a nap. He's tired. I'm tired too but 
food's always good. Okay, so that is us all ready to go, all showered and cleaned and all of that. And yeah, we're just gonna head now to Angelina's, get some food, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And obviously, obviously, as always, we'll take you guys along. And yeah, also, I put on the pillow talk and the collagen lip gloss thing from Charlotte Tilbury and I really really like them although my lips feel like really cold or something but yeah we better go because the, yeah the bus is in like five ten minutes um so yeah we better head on and I just want to make sure I have everything I think I do yeah okay let's go So why is it? Is that honeycomb on the brownie? Oh my goodness. I'm glad I'm glad we shared it. Good morning guys, so it is now the next day and we're just about to check out of our hotel and yeah, that's pretty much it. So it's about half nine or so in the morning and yeah, as I said, we're just about to check out and then we're gonna go explore swords, I think, for some of the morning because that's actually where our hotel is. So it's like, our hotel's like Premier in Dublin Airport, so it's actually a lot cheaper than staying in Dublin, which is why we stayed here. And then there's like the direct bus into Dublin city centre. So yeah, it's in Swords. So yeah, we're just gonna explore around here, go get some breakfast. Um, and yeah, I'm wearing the Susu, um, what do you call them? Susu, so I've got like, I've made a bit of a mess. Yeah, I'm wearing the Su 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 Kiss Me in Barrett and I really really like it. Um, so that's the one I bought yesterday in Dublin. And yeah, also, it's the 1st of December. You excited? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's 1st of December which means it's officially the start of Vlogmas, like even though I started Vlogmas yesterday. Um, so Christmas is on the way, I'm very excited and yeah. We can, when we get home, we can start our advent calendars. No, it's not. So excited. No. Why? No. I know I'm so excited to open no. the advent calendars. What do you mean, no? No. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, I, <laughs> I looked through mine because I got like the ASOS one and you can like open the boxes and then close them. But I can't remember what day one is, so mm -hmm. I actually can't. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go get some breakfast and explore swords. So we've come to this place in swords called Gourmet Food Corner and it's very cute inside. They've got all their Christmas decorations and all that. And it's just very like nice. Like it's almost like a farm shop kind of place, like Ashfield. Um, but yeah, it's very nice in here. We're getting some brunch, and then we're gonna go explore Swords. We actually saw on the way past that there's like a Christmas market in Swords Castle, so we have to check that out.
So basically in Swords Castle there's like a little like Christmas market but it's all like it's not like an international Christmas market like the one in Belfast it's all like local um creators like there was a guy there the patchwork peacock and he said it's like his wife's hobby and she makes these like um fabric like oh how do I explain it fabric like design picture things and they're all in a frame and everything and you get them personalized they're like basically for like a kid's room I didn't want to video them because like when it's artwork you kind of feel stealing it feels like you're stealing yeah so I didn't want to film them but definitely if you're looking for like a present for a kid or like someone who's maybe just had a kid for like a kid's room check out Patrick Peacock because you can get little personalized like frames and all that and it's very very cute wasn't it mm -hmm. and then there was also this guy he wasn't actually there but he did like portraits and it was hand-drawn portraits um it's all his details there um, and basically like you send him a picture and then he'll like hand draw it like there was ones of like babies and stuff and um, that people had obviously got done and it was very good so yeah it was a very cute little market it was quite small but it was very adorable and now i think we're gonna head to the pavilion which is like the shopping center around here and yeah just came into pennies and basically I've really been looking like a nice gin glass and just saw these two. This one says it's gin o'clock and this one says you are the gin to my tonic and they're like pink and they're reduced to three euros. So they're going straight in my basket as you can see. Let's go shopping. Mean girls section is actually giving me life. So here are four shot glasses. That's so fetch. You go Glen Coco is butter carb and regulation holly. I love that. And then there's so much other Mean Girls stuff. How much Mean Girls needs is we need to watch it, Adam. Yes. I can't believe this. They actually have a Penny's Monopoly. This is so cool. <laughs> On the back, it's like all the clues and all. That is so cool. We're pretty much just out of the pavilion center in Swords. It's actually really good. It's like it reminds me of like I don't know Bow Street Mall or something like that, but better. I don't know. You know what mall it reminds me of? Like kind of reminds me of the one in Bellamina. Um, but no, it was good. No, it reminds me. I, I've worked out what it reminds me of the Abbey Center. It's really like the Abbey Center. Um, so yeah, we're just sort of there. I didn't film much because. I'm gonna be honest, I started to feel really sick. Um, and then I got myself a smoothie and that like made me feel a lot better. So I don't know whether like my blood sugar like dropped or something because I was I thought I was like dying. I thought I had like that norovirus that's going around. But I feel a lot better now. And it was also quite warm in there, which I didn't think helped. Um, but I got myself a few little things um, with some of the birthday money that my dad gave me and yeah. I think we're just gonna sort of start making our way up home. Um, yeah. Pretty much the play. It's only like one o'clock. Oh, so it's December and I've just given Adam his advent calendar. Oh, you're a pain. <laughs> Why am I a pain? <laughs> you need to find number one. Oh. Yeah, so if you didn't guess, we're just home. And it's admin calendar time, so yeah, I'm very excited. It says I've written them on here, the days. Oh, I like how number one's at the bottom because you put them in first. I don't know if I did put it in first. <laughs> Check this one. Is that number one? Yes. See how I knew that? It's number one. <laughs> Are you going to open it? No. Why not? Open it. No. Look at Lily. Hello, Lily. Oh, Lily, she is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Lily's like, I wish I had one. <laughs> She's looking at you like, why are you here? Where's my dad? The wrong man has come home. <laughs> She's like, does Trevor know you're here? <laughs> What's wrong, Lily Cat? Do you just want a wee stroke? Just want some attention. Open it. No. Please, no. pretty please. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> Even Lily's like, what are you laughing at? If this is food, I don't want it right now. Just open it. I still have one day to add it in, but it's like day number nine or something, so I'll get it to you before then. Mm. <laughs> More teaser out there. Funny. <laughs> I just thought it would be a good one for day one. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the rest now of it. Now get out of face. Okay, I'm gonna go get my advent calendar. My advent calendars. We've both got two advent calendars now. Mm. We've both got two advent calendars now. Look, she's all curious. Hello, Lily. Have your legs all died? <laughs> okay, so I've got my advent calendars here now. And I'm going to go with them. So I'm going to start with this one, which is from Rumor Mill. Let's go. Where's day number one? Find it. We have a wee gingerbread man. I'll eat that in a wee minute. Because I've eaten a lot of sweets today. And then next up we have my advent calendar from Adam. Which is the ASOS advent calendar. So you ready for day one? So it's in like this cork box. So it's like reusable and recyclable, etc. And then all of the wee boxes inside are cardboard. So here we have day one. I genuinely can't remember what it is. Do you know what the worst thing is? I have to edit this vlog to go up tomorrow. I'm not doing today. Editing. I'm not doing well. <laughs> I wish it was nothing. I'm going to hold on that myself to death. Please don't die. This is really hard to open. <laughs> there we have it. Yes. Super spot remover. Mm -hmm. It's like a blemish cream. Blemish gel. Oh. Gets rid of spots. Mm -hmm. My spot's gone at the minute, but I will come back. The worst thing about advent calendars is having to wait until the next day to open them. No, I'm just like, I want to be like, <laughs> what? Not carrying that out to a car. I'll carry it out to a car then. I'm sorry. Advent calendars? Done. Do you know what? I'm probably just going to end this vlog. Here. I feel like it's already very long. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas day one. If you did, make sure to hit on below and give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe because I'm doing Vlogmas for the whole of December. So it'll be 24 or 25. I don't know. I'll probably be vlogging Christmas day too. So technically 25 new videos coming throughout December. So yeah. I love you guys so much and I will see you so, so and I will see you tomorrow for a new vlog. Bye.